generic. Um, so I like to do something a little bit different for a second hi-hat sound. And in order to get that really beefy hi-hat sound, all you have to do is take two cymbals, and I got a few broken ones here, put them on top of each other, compress them, and usually you can compress them by weight or whatever. And that way, it gives you an extra, an extra set of hi-hats. Super easy to do. All you need is basically one of these like extender arms, extra extender dudes. Some foam, and the reason why I use foam is because um, it makes everything sound a little bit more dead. I'm gonna basically just cut this into a little bitty like circle. Something that'll fit on the uh, cochlear here. I'm gonna make a small hole in the middle of it using a ballpoint pen. If you're a drummer, you definitely have foam laying around. So, this is pretty much gonna cost you nothing. Um, okay, so my first symbol Camber Germany hi-hat. Press brass. Played it to death. This is how I learned to play the drums. I have a press brass broken hi-hat top right here. It's literally trash. I'm going to take these two put them on top of each other, right? I have the bottom hi-hat of the same set that goes with these starter hats. I'm going to put that on the bottom. And I have a Zildjian um, 14 inch crash. ZBT entry level. It's nice and still sounds really nice. Right? Really bright. Lots of overtones. All of this weight and metal, it's going to sit on top of that. Okay, so I'm just going to put these on one by one. You gotta be careful because you don't want to like hurt yourself because they're broken. They're broken. Broken symbols. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some foam on top of this. I'm actually gonna make cut on. I'm gonna cut out two holes, two small diameters right and I'm gonna stack them on top of each other like that and I'm gonna press them down and then I'm gonna have a second set of hi-hats I used to have I made this like four years ago when I first started making drum videos way back when I actually had a regular job before I started doing music like full-time and um, I would come home from work and mess with stuff until it sounded like the drummers I saw on YouTube. And um, it's very humbling and taught me a lot. And I don't regret it because I do not have to spend thousands of dollars to make my kit more interesting. So this is, this is um, compacted now compressed I should say I have it attached to my hi-hat and this is how it sounds really trashy super low with my other hi-hat 